Hi! Welcome to Do All the Crafts. I'm Kat. Today I'm doing an interesting little project. So you see my tiny little box. It is a tiny loom from the Creativity Patch. So we'll open this up. <laughs> All right, this is the Little Lucy loom. <laughs> Slow down and make it with love. That's cute. All right, as you can see, this loom is very small, <laughs> very, very tiny. And they included lots of really nice yarn to go with it. So there's a lot of colors in here. This was called like something cactus. I can't, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but I will put a link down in the description box. So if you're interested in this, you can pick one up for yourself. And then comes with our needles here that we'll need to do the weaving and even a little bag. So you can put the loom in it when you're not using it. So that was all included in the kit. And you can see it was already got uh, your, I think this is the weft and the other's warp. I, I think that's right. I'll, uh, I'll put a note if I got that backwards, but these are the ones we're going to be working around. And you can see there's a little dowel in here so that they're lifted up and it's a little bit easier for us to weave our thread under there. So let's see what color do we want to start with? We'll start with, uh, with this one. It's pretty nice. Oh, I should have cut those off first. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we have needles. We can start. Okay, so you can look up videos online from this company, the Creativity Patch, that shows you how to work on your tiny loom. And it's really not too bad once you get the hang of it. So what we'll wanna do is you wanna start with, you wanna go over and under. Basically, you go if you go over one, you go under the next one. See, we're just there we go, and then you pull it through. You can see over under, over under. So you want to pull that through until you've got just enough of a tail on the end because we'll be weaving that in later so you want to leave a little, little so the important thing is to pull the yarn down now in a lot of the videos I they said the best way to do it is to kind of do it at an angle like this because you don't the one thing is you don't want to pull in these vertical threads because that'll make it get smaller as it goes up and you won't get that nice square shape. So, so you want to make sure you just you might have to pull it a little bit. I'm just trying to like shove it down there. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it as even as I can. Okay, now. So going back, since we went over this one, we're going to come under it. And we're basically going to go the opposite that we did on the first row. And this is what will give you your woven look. So that's really important that you're alternating. Plus, it's got a loop around that final thread or else it won't be included in there. 
Okay, so we've got our slant here. So you want to make sure that you're pulling it, or you can do a little, little mound like this. So just the main thing is you want to make sure that you don't have too much of, you want to have a little bit of a loop here, but you don't want to have a huge one. So, okay, and get all of our, you want to make sure you pack them down. Now I did see one video I watched where she took a little fork and used that as a tool. So that could be a, a really helpful, interesting thing if you wanted to try to make something like that. Okay, so you can see we're trying to get that packed in there really good. So you can see our little pattern starting to form. Okay, so under and then we'll go back in the opposite direction of the previous row. This takes a little patience. Okay, come on, there we go. here and then start they make it look so easy in their other videos <laughs> so it's mostly just a lot of fussing with it the main thing is you want to make sure like you want to make sure you're not pulling these ones at the side in when you're when you're looping your your yarn You want to try to really pack them down so you can hide this this thread because you're mostly wanting to see the, the more colorful stuff. This is just for the structure so it gives you something to build around. So you can see if you really pack it in there good you can't really see these threads. And I'm pretty sure this is the weft and that's the warp I think <laughs> I will I will put a note in the video because I forgot to look it up right before but if I'm wrong I will note that so that you will not feel silly saying the wrong thing <laughs> so this really isn't too bad once you get the hang of the in and out and stuff Oh, got a little little thing here. All right. Just going to try to try to just hill it down a bit. Get that there. And, um, yeah, just bring that down and get it nice and packed in there. So now you can see we're starting to form up the weaving here. I think that's starting to look pretty good. And I'm trying to be careful, make sure that I'm not... So we did over, so we'll do under. There we go. See, it gets a little easier as you kind of go on with it and get a little practice. This is the first time I have done anything on a loom, so I feel, okay, so see, there we go. You can kind of pull it down like this, start packing it in. Because, yeah, your, your main thing you want to be careful of is to not pull in on the sides. 
okay we've got a pretty good pattern going here it's looking pretty good good get in there okay i'm gonna do a few more rows and then i'm gonna change color i'm gonna show you how they showed you uh, how to do, change the colors on here uh, we'll be back in just a second Okay, now you can see I've woven it pretty close to the stick. That's about as close as I could get. It gets really uh, difficult once you get closer up to the top. And then I tied all of the ends together when I did the color changes. Tied those off and cut them off. Now you can leave these as sort of like little decorative elements or you can make this the back of the piece. So now you can see we just got our two ends here, which we'll weave in at the end. Now for taking it off of the loom. So this is sort of a, a nerve wracking part of it because you want to make sure everything on the front is good before you start cutting all these because you really can't go back. Cut through all of there we go. All right. So I'm gonna pull these down. And now you can see our little weaving here. Okay, make sure. So to finish it off now, you want 
to take two threads that are next to each other and knot them. Just doing what I believe is a square knot, but whatever knot you like to do should be fine. So you'll just want to go across and knot together all the threads to keep everything from running away on you. So you just like that, just knot them together. And then what we'll do is we'll take the smaller of the two needles. This one's really good for going back and forth and weaving. And then you can use this one to weave in the ends up the edge here. As you can see, we've got, it's uh, pulled in a little bit here, but it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty much square. You can kind of adjust it a little bit. And we've got our different colors. We've got some different textures. This one here is like a little fuzzy. This one's kind of more satiny. We've got a really thin thread here. And then um, we've got the thicker yarn. So it really gives it some interest and some different colors and textures. I also still have quite a bit, at least enough to make one more and probably still a little bit left over. The only uh, issue is there's not any more of this type thread to put on there to do your weaving so you would probably have to get some more like thin string along the lines of this to do more but if you really want to do more you'd, you'd be getting that anyway but you can make one fully finished and then you'll have a, a bunch there's a, there's like quite a bit of different thicknesses you get really thick yarn you get really thin stuff here almost more like thread and a lot of variety of colors and textures and stuff so you can see it, it makes for a really interesting look now there's a couple ways you could finish this off in a lot of the videos they make them into little wall hangings what you would do on your top end whichever one you want to be your top you would tie one one knot like here you see I did Like, say you would just stop with that. And then you would have either a small wooden dowel or straw or something like that. And then put that in there and then tie these around that. But that's not what I'm going to do with mine. I'm actually going to save this to be a tiny doll rug. Because I do some miniatures and customizations. And I thought it would just make a cute sort of like little entrance mat rug. So I'm going to finish tying this off and weaving these ends in here. And then I'm going to put some pictures in the credits there so you can see what the finished product looks like. Um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. It's something a little bit different. You don't see a lot of weaving these days. Oh, I got to be careful. My little, little thing's trying to come out there. So yeah, you want to be careful and make sure you don't mess around with it too much or else it's going to come loose on the ends. So I'm just going to leave that sitting there. So I'm going to put a link to where you can get this kit uh, on Etsy. You can also get it off of their website. I'm going to put a link to their video, which gives you a little more instructions and probably is a little more uh, clear because this is my first time making a little weaving thing, which I'm, I'm pretty, I think it turned out pretty good. And uh, we want to see more pictures of stuff like this. If I might make more things with my tiny loom, then Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I also have a Facebook group that's for all different kinds of crafts. And I will put links to all of those in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this and maybe it inspired you to try your own weaving. Because it's really, it's really, once you get the technique down, it's really not that difficult. And I think it would be fun to learn more patterns and more stitches and like how to make more, uh, just more than just lines on there. All right. Well. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.